hello guys so today we are preparing nigeria egg roll this egg roll came out so perfect so yummy and so tasty in fact you can try and prepare this for your family this celebration season they will really love it you can see how yummy how succulent it looks from the inside well cooked and well fried so let's begin we'll go ahead and break in two medium sized egg into a bowl after breaking in the egg we add one cup of water then whisk it So after whisking the egg, we go ahead and sift our flour. This is very important to get rid of all those unnecessary particles that might be inside your flour. So after sifting the flour like this, then we go ahead and add all our dry ingredients. Guys, so all the ingredients and the measurement of the ingredients will be in the comment section or in the description box. Please check it out. So I started adding our dry ingredients. I added baking powder. I added sugar salt nutmeg powdered milk then after adding all these dry ingredients i'll go ahead and add butter So after adding your dry ingredients, you mix it very well, then you add your butter. After adding your butter, you go ahead and mix it very well to break all those particles or lumps of butter. Make sure you mix it very well. After mixing it very well, you will get something that looks like this. You can see the way it looks. Then after that, you go ahead and add your egg and water Make sure we mixed earlier. After adding the egg and water mixture, remember we mix the egg with one cup of water. Then you mix it very well till you get a dough. You keep mixing it till you get something that looks like this. It's going to be sticky to the hand. That's very okay. You can rub oil on your palm or rub raw flour on your palm to get rid of those sticky particles in your hand. You don't need to knead the dough. If you knead the dough, the egg roll will come out very hard that you might not be able to enjoy it. Just mix it very well. Then you cover it for 10 minutes and set it aside. Make sure you cover it very well. So this is already boiled egg. After boiling the egg, I soaked it with cold water for at least 20 minutes. That will enable you to peel off the egg very fast. You can see the egg after peeling it off. Then, So after 10 minutes, we sprinkle some raw flour on a flat work surface. Then you spread out your dough like this. You spread it out like this, not so flat, not so high. You can see the way I'm doing it. After spreading it out like this, you cut it into equal parts, depending on the size of the egg roll you are aiming at. You cut it into equal parts like so. After cutting it into equal parts, cutting it into your four parts you pick one like this then spread it out more on your palm like so after spreading it out like this then you place your egg after placing your egg you seal it up like the one i'm doing in this video you can see how i'm sealing it up you have to make sure that you seal it properly to avoid opening up while frying it because that's one of the mistakes people make while making egg roux you seal it up after sealing it up you roll it like this in your in between your palms then 
properly and make sure that everything is well covered you can see i'm doing it for the second time you seal it up like so roll it up in between your palms and you, then you set it aside this is what you should do to all of those portions you cut out you roll it very well then after that After that, it should look like this. So we'll go ahead and fry our egg roll. So this is our hot oil. You go ahead and test and see if this oil is ready. For you to know that your oil is ready for frying, you roll out just small particle of dough, put it inside the oil. Once it's float back to the top within 10 seconds, you know that your oil is ready for frying. So go ahead and put in our egg roll gently. You can see the one placing it in gently. After placing it in, you have to use low to medium heat to fry your egg roll. It doesn't need too much heat. Once you place in your egg roll, I notice that it changes color immediately. You just know that the oil is too hot. You just fry it gently, allow it to cook from inside. You keep flipping the both sides, see everything changes color and become like this. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Help me like, comment and share this video. See you in my next one. Bye. I forgot to add, if you have any question regarding this process, please kindly drop it in the comment section.